Hi, I'm Rob Mounsey, and you're watching HD Tracks Master Musicians. You know, when I first started writing music, I guess I was about 11 years old. Uh, my, I had an older sister who was eight years older, and she was in college when I was 11. I uh, got to uh, inherit some uh, little miniature orchestra scores from a uh, uh, music appreciation class and learned to read music from reading those tiny scores. I don't know if I could do that today. My eyesight isn't what it was, but um, learned to read music with little scores of uh, the Mozart Jupiter Symphony and the Berlioz Fantastic Symphony. And at some point, I I looked at them and I said, you know, I think I could learn how to do this. The first record I produced was for my friend, my old friend Michael Franks, and it was a record called Passion Fruit in 1982. And Michael called me up and said, I want you to produce my, my record, my next record. I was shocked. I didn't know if I knew how to do that, but, but uh, jumped right in. We had a great time. That's, uh, the record stands up well today, I think. I'm uh, still, still proud of it. Just not that many years ago, I did a lot of work with Natalie Cole, who's really wonderful, uh, wonderful singer, wonderful musician, and great, great person. And uh, and Natalie said, "I didn't know that you produced that record." She said, "You know that album got me through rehab." And you know, Natalie was very has been very open about having a substance abuse issue. It was pretty serious. She was in rehab, and she said that album got me through it, which I thought was a really uh, kind of a wonderful. Uh, it was, it was a, kind of a beautiful thing to hear. They, they're very, very different projects. They're very different uh, experiences. And you have to go into a very different mental space uh, for those things. I, I, I enjoy composing for picture a lot. It's, it's just um, you have to go into a mental space where you're inside the story and you're feeling the rhythm of the story, the feeling of the story. It's producing a record, a pop record, a jazz record. It's a completely different, um, completely different job. So I'm happy I can do both of those. Billy and I and, and everyone involved really had a, had a ball doing it. Um, Billy's a wonderful um, performer and singer. He's very high energy. Uh, he has, a, you know, Billy has a very strong uh, and intense um, feeling for what he wants his direction to be and where he wants to go. Um, and to a, to a large extent, you know, my job on the project was, was to help him bring those things out. Lisa Barbaris, uh, who is uh, Billy's manager, is also Cindy's manager. They share a manager, and uh, and I know that they're friends. Uh, and Billy feels that he really owes that he really owes Cindy uh, uh, a, a debt of gratitude uh, that because Cindy wrote this wonderful uh, show Kinky Boots, which was such a wonderful role for Billy, and uh, was, was a fantastic opportunity for him to. Uh, to be back on Broadway and, and making a big splash and winning the Tony for the role. Uh, so uh, I know that, that Billy feels a lot of gratitude towards Cindy for, for that and, um, and that Cindy uh, is very, very fond of Billy too. So uh, it, was, it was wonderful that she, she could do it. I think it's a, it's a great um, duet. It was uh, recorded uh, 96K 24-bit, That's um, the uh, those are the specs that Concord Music Group insists on for all their projects, and that's how we did it, and uh, so we're ready for all of the uh, audio files out there to really appreciate it. Basic tracks and the orchestra were recorded at Avatar Studios here in New York. Uh, Billy's vocals uh, were recorded by uh, my colleague Richard Alderson down at 333 Recording, his uh, beautiful pr little project room downtown. Um, the rest of it was recorded by Lawrence Manchester. That's a great question. 
Peter Gabriel. I always, always admired his work a lot. Peter, if you're out there, call me.